Hi I'm Stephen Moore welcome to our new channel Ali Inda News Headline. Modi government gets high approval rating at three-year mark in toy online poll. Now in details Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Narendra Dimitar Des Modi, born September 17, 1950, is the 14th Prime Minister of India, who took office on 26 May, 2014. Before assuming office as the Prime Minister, he served Gujarat as its longest-serving chief minister. He was elected as the CM in 2001 and has held the office for three terms successively. He is credited with turning around Gujarat's economy and making it an attractive investment destination for industrialists. With a view to transform India into a global manufacturing hub, Prime Minister Narendra Modi took the initiative of launching the Make in India campaign on September 2014. This initiative is motivated towards encouraging both multinational and national firms to manufacture their products in India. His government took another large-scale initiative to bring the rural population in the fold of banking system through Jandam Yojana. It provides access to financial services like banking and deposit accounts, insurance and pension in an affordable manner to all. On November 8, 2016, in a surprise announcement, he took a decision to ban higher denomination currency notes, Rs 500 and Rs 1000, to weed out black money and end corruption. Following an impressive victory in 2017 Uttar Pradesh Assembly elections, Narendra Modi government named Yogi Adityanath as Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister. With a view to transform India into a global manufacturing hub, Prime Minister Narendra Modi took the initiative of launching the Make in India campaign on September 2014. This initiative is motivated towards encouraging both multinational and national firms to manufacture their products in India. His government took another large-scale initiative to bring the rural population in the fold of banking system through Jandam Yojana. It provides access to financial services like banking and deposit accounts, insurance and pension in an affordable manner to all. On November 8, 2016, in a surprise announcement, he took a decision to ban higher denomination currency notes, Rs 500 and Rs 1000, to weed out black money and end corruption. Following an impressive victory in 2017 Uttar Pradesh Assembly elections, Narendra Modi government named Yogi Adityanath as Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister. Government got a big thumbs up for its overall performance in the first three years of its tenure, according to an online survey conducted by timesofindia.com and its sister sites. Over a million readers participated in these polls. In timesofindia.com's poll, a total 77% of respondents said they rated the Modi government's performance as being very good and good. That is, in response to the poll question how would you rate the performance of the Modi government? 48% respondents voted very good and 28% voted good. However, respondents on Tamil.Samyam.com weren't as impressed with the BJP government's performance with a total of 53% choosing the options average or poor. In Timesofindia.com poll, almost 84% of those surveyed believed that if elections were held today, the government would equal or better its 2014 Lok Sabha performance. That is, 61% of those voted believed that if the Lok Sabha elections were held today, the BJP would perform better than it did in 2014. Some 23% of respondents believed the BJP would fare the same as it did in 2014. To this question too, Daniel.Samyam.com's respondents voted differently. Close to 44% respondents here believed the Modi government would fare worse than it did in 2014, if Lok Sabha elections were to be held today. Read this story in Bengali. By and large. Except for Tamil.Samyam.com's respondents, it appears the reason people feel the BJP would equal or better its performance if elections were held today is the Modi factor, the same one considered responsible for the party's wins in recent polls. In Timesofindia.com's poll, 76% believed Modi's popularity has increased in the last three years. However, 
Respondents on Tamil.Samyam.com felt differently, with 41% of voters saying the PM's popularity has decreased. Demonetization and the passage of the Goods and Services Tax Bill were seen as the two most important decisions of the Modi government, with the former squeaking by the latter to make it to the top spot in Times of India.com's poll. The November 8 decision to ban Rs 500 and Rs 1000 currency notes was seen as the Modi government's most crucial decision by 37% of those who were surveyed in Times of India.com's poll. GST was considered the most crucial by 28% of those who answered the question in the same poll. Demonetization, in fact, got a huge thumbs up among those surveyed by NavBaratimes.com, Maharashtratums.com, IamGujarat.com and Vijaykarnataka.com. On these sites, more than 50% of respondents said the note ban was the most important move by the Modi government. Interestingly, even though demonetization, touted by PM Modi as a move to curb black money, was seen as the most important decision of the BJP government, TimesOfIndia.com's respondents were not as odd at overall efforts by the government to curb black money. A majority of respondents were satisfied, yes, but not by as large a margin. Of those who answered the question what do you think of the steps taken by the government to curb black money? 56% voted very effective and effective, while the rest believe the steps need better implementation or are ineffective, on TimesOfIndia.com's poll. NavBaratimes.com respondents though were underwhelmed by the Modi government's efforts to curb black money. Close to a total 60% surveyed said these efforts need better implementation or are ineffective. By and large. Respondents in most of the polls felt that in its three years in power, the Modi government had been least successful in employment generation and tackling cross-border terror. However, those surveyed on Tamil.Samyam.com and Telugu.Samyam.com believed the Modi government's biggest failure has been improving condition of farmers. As for tangible improvements to their individual lives, more than half of those who voted in TimesOfIndia.com's and most other polls felt that in the last three years their lives had improved. Of those who answered the question how has life changed for you under the Modi government? 58% clicked on significantly improved and slightly improved. The answer same as before got 29% of the votes, which the remaining believed their lives have deteriorated. On this issue too. Respondents on Tamil.Samyam.com and Telugu.Samyam.com differed, with most respondents saying their lives are the same as before. Thank you for watching the video please subscribe the channel now if not already, already.